Listen up. The American Heart Association recently announced that coconut oil is bad for you. I'm a little angry that it took them this long to tell us. Before I found out, I was so misinformed that I spent years accidentally being healthy from eating coconut oil. I feel like an idiot. But I appreciate the American Heart Association for telling me I was mistaken all this time. You know what? Coconut oil is so terrible for you that even talking about it is bad for your health. So I'm going to make this brief. If there's one company whose advice I want to follow when it comes to eating fats, it's the American Heart Association. Under the American Heart Association's watch, it's estimated that one out of every two Americans will get heart disease in their lifetime. That's like if they were a skydiving instructor and one out of every two of their students gets a malfunctioning parachute and dies. That's the exact skydiving instructor that I want to take lessons from. I mean, they're a way better instructor than those who have two out of every two students die. And besides, one out of every two being taken out, that basically just weeds out the bad students. The French are known for eating high levels of saturated fat, yet they're the country with the lowest rate of heart disease. This just goes to show you one thing. The French are snobs. They just turn their noses up at our American ways. It's so disrespectful. The American Heart Association is American, so don't you dare question their integrity because nothing corrupt happens in America, especially in the food industry, and really especially when there's big money involved. The American Heart Association earned $774 million in revenue in 2014, and I think it's safe to assume that most of this money is spent on corruption security prevention strategies which basically means we can trust them blindly. And if you don't think that you can stop thinking for yourself and trust the noble business people at the American Heart Association, then you don't like America. And that would mean you're a terrorist. Hashtag W Bush. Hashtag what would Bush say? Now there's a little unfair confusion because of the fact that for years the American Heart Association endorsed food products with hydrogenated oils and trans fats with their heart checked logo. These trans fats are literally the worst thing for your heart. And given that the American Heart Association pretends that they never gave people the worst possible heart advice, it means they have enough integrity to act like it never happened. I think that's called the Mandela effect. Because coconut oil obviously wants to kill you, what kind of fats does the American Heart Association recommend? Vegetable oils and margarine. Obviously. I enjoy consuming vegetable oils because they're incredibly unstable and they cause a tremendous amount of inflammation and free radical damage in my cardiovascular system. Which is great for me, from what I'm told to tell myself. But let me amp it up for you. I'm going to show you the exact science of how vegetable oils are healthy for your heart. I made this diagram myself. Number one, the U.S. doesn't grow much in the way of coconuts, so there's not much money to be made in the currency of coconuts, given our mostly non-tropical climate. It's raining right now. Number two, but the U.S. does have untold amounts of farmland that's great for growing corn, soy, and canola. So we do that and have lots of vegetable oils that are made out of grains, not actual vegetables. Which brings us to number three. The U.S. has lots of money to be made from selling vegetable oils. Number four. The Soybean Board and the U.S. Canola Association are in the American Heart Association's Nutrition Advisory Panel. Which takes us to number five. The American Heart Association then altruistically tells everybody that they should buy vegetable oil and not by its non-domestic competition, coconut oil. Number six, this all equates to vegetable oils are good for your health, coconut oil is bad for your health. And I underline vegetable oils equal healthy twice, so you know it's a fact. Hashtag health science. You've just been schooled, son. Any questions? And now you can conform better to thinking what you're told to think about dietary fats.